All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. William Shakespeare There's no business like show business. Irving Berlin 1. Death, unexpected and tragic, threw open the door to opportunity. At the tender age of 18, Eliza Lane walked through the door, entering stage left, and brought down the house. Tears for a lost friend, for a member of her theatrical family, she wrote in her memoir, had to wait. The show must and did go on, and she dedicated her opening night performance in Upstage and all that followed to Leah Rose. Leah Rose, dead at the tender age of 18 from a deadly combination of pills and vodka, hours before her opening on Broadway. And so Eliza, Angie, Swing, understudy to Ms. Rose, stepped into the spotlight as Marcy Bright in Cabot in Lowe's Upstage, September 22, 2036. Curtain at eight. She'd held that spotlight for 25 years through talent, discipline, hard work, a dedication to her craft, and a keen instinct for the right part at the right time. There had been downs as well as ups, a broken ankle during rehearsals that had cost her a plum role in a film musical for which her replacement won a Golden Globe, a shattered love affair in her 20s and the snickering media that followed, the deaths of her parents in a fatal car crash, the divorce in her 30s that cost her dearly, emotionally and financially. But Eliza believed in staring the downs in the face and working for the ups. Her pride in and her love of her art demanded she give no less than her best each time, every time she stepped on stage or in front of a camera. The fact she demanded the same of anyone who worked with her gave her the reputation as a bitch in some circles. She accepted that, even prized it. She had acquaintances by the score, but only a few she considered true friends. Her rivals were many, and she assumed a few of that number rose to the level of enemy. That was show business, after all. And still, she'd never have believed anyone who knew her, or thought they did, wanted to kill her. Twenty-five years after her star-making performance, she opened her grand and glorious New York home to the cast and crew, the friends and frenemies, to select media and critics. She and her husband of nine years threw the party in the window between the revival of Upstage coming out of workshop and going into rehearsals. In the revival, she would play Lily Bright, the headliner, the mother, and relentless stage mother of Marcy. Marcy might have given her career its solid roots, but Eliza saw the part of Lily as the big, gorgeous bloom of it. She'd make them laugh as she chewed up the scenery, bring them to tears with her voice and its heartbreak in Lily's lament. She'd dance until her feet bled, work her ass off to inhabit Lily Bright as no one had before. And by God, she'd bag her fifth Tony. So tonight was for celebration. And she dressed for it in a bold red cocktail dress by Leonardo that showed off her dancer's legs. It fit her slim, disciplined body to perfection, following the curves like a lover before the skirt flared, highlighting strong shoulders and toned arms with slim straps. With it, she wore the 10 carat square cut Burmese sapphire on a chain that sparkled with diamonds, a 40th birthday gift from her husband that had made the start of a new decade go down a little easier. <laughs>